Greetings everyone and welcome to Pocket Planes. This is a game that was suggested by one of my viewers. It came out about a year ago. It's from the developer of Tiny Tower and it seems kind of interesting. You run an airline, you have airplanes of course, you also have airports in various cities and you move passengers and cargo between the airports with the airplanes. Hopefully making a profit so you can expand even more. The game starts with a short tutorial and then basically we just jump right in. I played a little bit of it and like I said it does seem pretty interesting so I thought we'd just take a look at it and see if you guys would be interested in running your own airline. If this is the kind of thing you're interested in by the way please give the video a like maybe say something in the comments for the great god algorithm and of course subscribing is a great way to show your support so let's just jump into the tutorial so we can start running our airline. Let's go through the basics and get you in the air. This airplane is waiting at an airport. Let's pick up some jobs. All right, so right here you can see our airplane. And the airplane actually has two sections behind the, uh, the pilot there. One is a seat for a passenger, and then there's an open space. The open space is for cargo. Now, this is an unusual plane because it has both of them. Most of the planes you're going to have are going to have either passengers or cargo but mixing them is fine depending on where you're going now on the lower left there you can see it's shining that's where we get our jobs so let's just check this out this plane is equipped to carry one passenger and one cargo let's pick up the passenger first all right so this is the jobs menu and of course there's only two jobs there at the moment so first things first we have a passenger who's going to montreal so let's load that one up great now pick up the cargo job now the cargo, the watermelons, is actually going to Ottawa. So we're going to load that up. Now that our plane is full, we can depart. So now what we do is, you see in the middle there towards the left, that's basically setting where the plane is going to go because we have to actually set the path. Destinations for jobs on board pulsate on the map. Tap the city of Ottawa to add a waypoint that will drop off the job going there. All right, so right now in Detroit, see the PL001 is actually our airplane. So we're going to say we're going to Ottawa. Next, since we have a job going to Montreal, add another waypoint there. So what we're going to do then is we're going to click on Montreal. We're all set and ready to go. Tap the fly button to take off. So that's the green button there towards the middle on the left. So we're going to click on that. You'll earn any profit from your jobs as the plane reaches their destinations. To jump to a different plane, tap the plane list button. All right, so that is towards the middle there on the right. All of your planes and their statuses are shown here. Tap the top plane to view it. All right, so we're going to do this one. You finished the beginner flight school. More tips will be shown as you access different parts of the game. Now you can choose where in the world to start your airline. I'm going to do the Northeast, just because I happen to know it. Okay, so let's get going. Now, if we click the plane list, you can see we actually have four planes. Two are in Detroit, one's in Montreal, and one's in Ottawa. So let's click on this one right here. This is our first plane. It's a passenger plane with one seat. So let's see if we can find a passenger. Okay, we have Ann Sutton who wants to go to Montreal, and that's the best money. Mind you, it probably is the farthest, but you know what? We're going to load that up, and we're going to hit this button over here, and we're going to say going to Detroit to Montreal. You can see Montreal is pulsing over there. All right, so then we hit the fly button. Okay, and we can watch. And by the way, there is actually a benefit to watching. Because things can come by on the screen like that, for instance. I think that's 10 gold. Now, more importantly, is the parachuters. You found a chance to collect three bucks. Continue to view an ad and collect a reward. I would strongly suggest doing that. So I'm going to watch a video. All right, and now I have three bucks. Okay, so let's go back. We'll find another airplane. All right, so that one, we still have three that are idle. If you look at the bottom at PL001, that's the one we just sent. 
That's going to take five minutes. All right, back to Detroit. Now we have a cargo ship here. We only have one slot, so let's find something. All right, I'm thinking we're going to Montreal again with some envelopes because that's the most money. All right, so we're going to send that and we're going to go over here. And once again, that plane is going to Montreal. Now you can actually see the progress of the airplanes as they go by here too. All right, so fly. All right, let's get some more airplanes in there. Now we actually have a couple of airplanes that have more than one slot. And these are the ones that are going to make us money. Oh, new jobs. We have new jobs. When new jobs pop up, it means that there's new things you can do at the airports. That can be very important sometimes. All right, let's go with this one here. All right, this is a cargo plane. It's got two slots in there. So hopefully we can find two going to the same location. Otherwise, we may have to do a, a connecting flight. We have two going to Ottawa. We have three going to Ottawa, actually. So there is a bonus you get if you're taking multiple things to the same location. So we're not going to do Detroit. We're going to do Ottawa. First of all, we're in Montreal, so it's a lot closer. So it'll be a short flight. But check this out. Load, load. And we get a 25% money bonus for two uh, cargos going to the same place. It works that way with passengers as well. So keep an eye open for that. And besides, like I said, it's actually a shorter distance, so it will be a shorter flight than going to Detroit. All right, so let's see here. So we're going to Ottawa, and we're going to fly. And of course, you can actually scroll through your airplanes. One still hasn't taken off. Any parachuters? I don't see any. All right, let's go to the airplane we haven't sent yet. Now, this has two passenger seats. So we're in Ottawa, so let's see what we can find here. Oh, that's not good. All right, we only have one passenger, and that's not going to change until we get new jobs. So I'm thinking, since it's three minutes until the next job, we might as well pick this person up and take them to Montreal. The bigger cities have more opportunities, so I think that's what we're probably going to do. We might actually lose money on this one. We're going to have to see how this works. But there's no purpose in staying here. All right, so now we're going to Montreal. All right, we are making a profit. If you look at the top there, you can see profit. That's how much we're going to make because it is kind of taking out the fuel as well. So we are going to make money on this, but we'll have better opportunities in Montreal. So why don't we just do that? And we have a cowboy. All right, let's just check all of our planes out. Now, I think events can happen no matter what plane you're looking at. So I think what a good idea is, is select the one at the top. You can see that's less than a minute now until it arrives. So we'll just click on that. And what we can do is if something happens, like another parachuter, because those buck, oh, we got some money. That one, I think, is only one. Every coin counts. Now, the bucks are very useful, very useful indeed. Let me show you what I mean by that. Oh, never mind. It landed. All right, we have two cargo spots open, and we did get the money for that, by the way, as soon as it landed. So let's see what we have here. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Do I want to go there or do I want to wait? All right, jobs are going to reset in a minute. So I'm just going to let that sit there for now. When I see the jobs reset, that'll work out. But at the moment, I don't want to send that all the way down to Detroit with just one item in there. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, and we got some more money. Oh, and we got a parachuter. Okay, and a free bucks. Now, I mentioned bucks are important. Let me show you why bucks are important. Let's go to menu and let's go over in the middle on the left to the market for sale. Now here, you can buy pieces of airplanes in case you actually get them because you can get them. Generally speaking, when I was testing, if I open up an airport, I get a piece of an airplane. But you can straight up buy new airplanes and they cost bucks. Now this one down here is kind of interesting. This is, uh, it's got a spot for a passenger and it's got a spot for cargo, which could be useful. I'm gonna hold off for now until I get more options. I think when we level, we get more options. So we're just gonna back out for now. Okay, and some more coins. All right, so I don't, this one's gonna land in less than a minute at this point. I'm wondering, because I wasn't paying attention if we got new jobs. 
Let me check out that other airplane here. Do we have any new jobs? No, we don't. Okay, and we have the other one has now arrived. All right, why don't we go over to that one and see what's going on here? This is in Montreal, and I have two passenger slots. All right, and this is something that can happen too. You can actually get bucks, but here's the thing. There's a lot of money if you do this and this. That's decent money, but you know what? I need those bucks, so I'm going to do that. And that's going to be going to Detroit. So why don't we send that off to Detroit right there? I could have gotten more jobs, but you know, I like those bucks. I really like those bucks. All right, so fly. All right, now we also have new jobs. So let's go back to, was Ottawa? Right, okay, so we have two cargo containers that are both going to Montreal. All right, so together, they're good money. So let's just head for Montreal because that's a short flight. All right, and we're going to get 173 profit from that. So fly. And I think another one landed in the meantime, right, in Montreal. All right, we're looking for one passenger. Uh, Detroit, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, we can just go Detroit with either one of them. It's a shame we don't have two slots open, but, you know, we can just do that. All right, fly to Detroit. All right, that one's going to take six minutes. It was nearly seven minutes there for a moment. All right, that one, okay, this one has just arrived now in Montreal, and we have a new passenger. We are making money. You can see we have over 15000 now. All right, so let's see what we have here. Okay, I guess we're going back to Ottawa. All right, well, you know what? It's going to be a while before we get new jobs, so we might as well just do it. It's a short hop, and you never know. We might have something good waiting for us then. Uh, you can see that I'm, like, level one at the bottom there. So it does take a while. Ooh, we're going to get a coin. It does take a while to level up, but more things become available to you when you do that. Speaking of things available to us, let's see if we can do something. Can I get Quebec City? Yes, I can build an airport in Quebec City. That's what I'm going to do. Congratulations, you unlock Quebec City. You found the body for a Navigator M in Quebec City. All right, so let's go for a moment here to look at our parts. All right, so we found a, uh, a body of a Navigator M. Now, as I understand it from what I've seen, you need a body controls, and an engine to make an airplane. Now, you can buy parts, but you can also sell this one for money. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go back to for sale. If I look at parts, oh, you can see that it's green down there because it says, hey, you know what? You have a piece of this already. Here are the controls. The thing about it is that would leave me without the engine. And you know what? I don't want to spend bucks right now because 18 bucks will get me a new airplane. And I think at level two, I'll have some more options available to me. It's tempting, but I think I'm going to have to let that go for now. So we're going back over here, right? We have a new destination. So that means that uh, once one of these planes, oh, landed, landed in Montreal. Okay. This one is looking for cargo. So let's see what opportunities we have. Oh, we only have one going to Quebec City. Okay, but we're going to get new jobs in a minute. So the thing is, I think I'm going to wait on that because we might be able to get something better. I don't want to send the plane out right now because, you know, it's got two cargoes. There's no reason I want to do that. All right, that one is waiting. This one is going to be there in less than a minute. So we'll keep our eyes open. So the way this works, of course, is that over time, you're going to get more airport. Ooh, ooh, bucks, please. First of all, give me the 10. And you got bucks for me? You got a bucks for me. Wonderful. And the plane has landed. Okay, this one's looking for cargo. Okay, I'll do that. Quebec City? Pretty close, actually. So why don't we just do that? And we're up to here. There we go. Fly. Of course, close is relative. All right, do we have a new one yet? Okay, jobs are going to reset in less than a minute. All right, so we're going to keep watch on our planes here because I'm hoping we can get some more bucks. I'm also hoping we can get the level two. So like I was saying, basically you want to get as many airports as you can to get opportunities and eventually you'll get better airplanes. Right now, we have airplanes that can hold like one passenger, one cargo, 
or two passengers and two cargo. We don't have any of those multis yet. If you looked at the names, the names actually tell you. Here, let's go back for a moment and let's look at the airplanes. Now, you see the twos right there? Oh, actually, we do have new airplanes now, don't we? I just realized that we have new airplanes available to us. We actually have a piece for the Navigator M. So the thing is, this is the airplane that we might be able to put together. And that looks pretty darn good there. Uh, this is a multi. I think it was a multi that we had, wasn't it? Now, here's a question. What do I want to buy? I'd kind of like to keep it cargo or passengers for now. Now, the thing about this one, this one is fast. It doesn't have the range. But given our current configuration, it's not really that important at the moment. I think I might want to buy this one. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this one. Uh, hold on a second. Where? Or can I actually buy that one now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I got to click the button. I was looking at it. Uh, do I want to do this one or this one? All right. I'm going to buy the Navigator C. All right. We're going to do that one. And that's going to cost me uh, 17 bucks. And you got to pick the city where you're going to be. I want to start in Detroit. All right. Let's see what we can get here. Cargo. Oh, cargo. I can make a lot of money or I can make bucks. See, here's the thing. If I did this and this, that's good money. But you know what? I want those bucks. That way I can buy more airplanes. All right. So what we're going to do. Okay. You are now level two. You have been given three complimentary bucks and can now build two new airports. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to send this one off to Montreal and fly. Now, you notice this one's going 165 miles per hour, but it does have a shorter range. But like I said, in our current configuration, not a big deal. What do you got? Uh, you found a chance to collect 500 coins. Watch an ad. Yes, I will. All right. So we got some extra money. Extra money is a good thing. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. I got two planes down. One's in Detroit. This one's looking for passengers. I got two for Ottawa. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'll get that little bonus then there. So let's send you off to Ottawa. And you're off. All right. I had another one on the ground. This is the one before we couldn't get anything good. We need cargo. I got two going to Quebec City. And one of them's going to get me a buck. So I'm going to do that. Besides, it was better money than the other one anyway. What I could have done if I wanted, though, I could have taken the Ottawa one and have it stop first at Ottawa and then move on to Quebec City. But I want those bucks because I can get airplanes with them. All right, we're going to Quebec City right up here. All right, go. All right, so how are we doing here? Oh, we got two on the ground. All right, one's in Detroit. That's looking for a passenger. And that's going to Quebec City. That's not bad at all. It's a long trip. It may have to make an extra stop, though. Let's see. I think I can actually make it. Yeah, I can make it one shot. There we go. We don't have a lot of distance yet, but I think I need to open some more airports so we can get some distance. All right, we do have another one that's on the ground here. And this one is looking for cargo. It's in Quebec City. Okay, we can send some toys to Ottawa. Why don't we just go ahead and do that? All right, it's not that far away. The, uh, the ones with the multiple slots are the ones that really give you the opportunity to make money. All right, let's take a quick look at the map because I think I need another airport. How about Thunder Bay? Yeah, depending on the market. All right, I see that New York is red. I'm wondering if that means that that's international because if you pull all the way out, you can see the rest of the world is actually there. It's just we can't do anything about it. All right. So I'm guessing that that's what that means, that that one is international. Um, we're not going to use any of those because those are very expensive and I don't have that kind of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm thinking, how much is Thunder Bay? That's pretty inexpensive. All right. Why don't we grab that one? Congratulations. You unlocked Thunder Bay. All right. What did we get here? We got the controls for a Wallaby P. All right. Well, you know, we got to, we could sell that or maybe we can just hold on to it and maybe get a free airplane in the future. OK, so let's see. Do we have anybody on the ground? Yes. Quebec City. And we're looking for cargo. So where's the cargo? Well, I mean, Montreal is closer. 
I could do I could do both actually now that I'm thinking about it. All right, why don't we do Montreal and then we'll do Detroit. All right, so we're going to stop at Montreal and then we're going to stop at Detroit. So that'll get us both of them. We're going to make a profit of uh, 141, so that shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's look around a little here. Hey, look, one guy was in darkness and the other guy wasn't. What is going on with that? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're we're uh, we're doing pretty good here now. All right, so how many bucks? I have eight bucks. I also do have money. I don't know. Should I try to open up another one? So if I want to add another airplane, obviously I would need another airplane, but I'd also have to spend money for a slot too. All right, so let's just look at this. Oh, that one just landed as I clicked on it. Okay, that one has some cargo spots. We have two for Thunder... Wow, we have a lot for Thunder Bay. All right, this is money. So that's the reason sometimes you want to pick something that's a little bit far away. The problem is on the way back might be an issue. So why don't we just send you off to Thunder Bay? It's also going to take a while to get there too. So if we do this, you can see that this one's going to take eight minutes, even though this is our basically fastest plane. All right, what do we have here? Okay, you're in Ottawa, and you want passengers. Quebec City and Detroit, they're in opposite directions. And I'm not going to get new jobs for two minutes. I'll get, uh, you know what? I'm going to sit on that because this is a two passenger plane, and I want to get something good for this. So we're not going to do that one for now. All right, this one is going to be arriving pretty soon. I wouldn't mind sending this one because it's only got one slot anyway. But if you have two slots, you really want to get maximizing. Okay, we got two things. One, we got some money. And two, we found some extra coins. All right, so we got 10,700. We got 10,805. All right, so this is in Ottawa. Let's see. Uh, Montreal is a short jump. Go right ahead. Right over to here. All right, let's see what we got going over here. We still have that one on the ground, but I don't think that we have any new jobs for that. This one's going to take two minutes. Here, let's just verify here for a moment. All right, this one's on the ground. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't really help me. Oh, we got oh new items. We got new items. It's not like I can buy an airplane at the moment, but we can take a look at them. All right, menu on the lower right, and then we'll look at the market in the middle on the left. Okay, so I'm interested in airplanes, but, you know, what about parts? What about parts? Okay, we got some new planes out there. I'm seeing Griffin and Bear Claws here. Am I looking at the parts? All right, none of these parts go along with the two that I have. All right, let's look at airplanes. Bear Claw, those are small, though. I mean, they might be fast. They're not. They're not fast. 126 miles per hour, small range, one passenger. Why would I want to do that? I mean, that's 14 bucks. If I just get seven more, I can get one of these that does 165 miles per hour. It's got a longer range and it has two passengers. Yeah, I have no idea why you just added these bear claws. Uh, the Griffin doesn't seem to be a lot better. If I look at the Griffin, it's only 140 miles per hour. It does have a good range, though. Maybe that's something that's going to be useful in the future. But what you can do, if it's a long range, you can have it make a stop along the way. All right, but let's just see. Oh, this one down here. What was this one? This one's only a uh, 134 miles per hour, but it's a 700 range. So it's better in terms of that than the Navigator. The Navigator is faster, though. And like I said, everything we're using right now is kind of close together, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you were flying over the ocean, you'd probably need something serious for range, right? Because there's no pit stops along the way. All right, that's good. We'll just keep an eye on that. And we're approaching level three. How are the planes? All right, did we get new jobs for this? I think we got a new job, but it was just going to load that one up. We'll just send that one out. Okay, that one is going to Detroit. So just send that one off to Detroit. There we go. Yeah, it's hard sometimes to get these planes full. I guess it really depends on where you are. If you were in New York, it probably wouldn't be a problem. But I don't have 51,000. But I do have a uh, parachuter 
who is going to give me five bucks. All right, we got those five free bucks. I'm up to uh, 14. If I get 17, I can get another one of those navigators. Who knows? Oh, you know what? I didn't check. Did I check the uh, the parts? Oh, first of all, give me the money. All right, so everybody... Yeah, you, you're running um, cargo. You're running cargo. And you're in darkness. I don't know why that is. Oh, you're on the ground. All right, you're in Montreal. You have a cargo. Uh, Thunder Bay. Sounds like a plan. All right, you're off to Thunder Bay. It is going to take 10 minutes, but it is, uh, it's good money, right? We're making a profit on that, and that's what it comes down to, right? Okay, this one here at the top is less than a minute, so I just want to take a quick... Oh, we're going to grab that money. Let's take a quick trip over here again for the parts. I wasn't sure. Did I check? Yeah, okay, so I don't have any there. Let me just step back for a moment again. All right, so we have a part for a Navigator M. We have the body. And the Wallaby P, we have the controls for that. I mean, we could sell them if we wanted to. But, you know, if we happen to look into the parts, we might get a free plane out of it. Okay, we have an arrival in Quebec City. And that's looking for a passenger. I mean, it's a pretty short trip, so we might as well just do it. Because jobs, you know, we'll have to see about that. Besides, it is just one slot, so I'm not going to be too picky about it. All right, over to Montreal. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That wasn't Montreal. I was meant... Oh, okay, hold on a minute. Back, 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 back. Let me do that again. I think I messed that up. All right, Montreal. Right, it's going to Montreal. Okay, that... I don't know what I did wrong there. Okay, so that one's off. Did we get another landing? Right, we got a landing in Detroit. So we have cargo. Where's the cargo going? Thunder Bay. Yeah, we're going... That's a long trip. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I want the money. I want the money. All right, so we're going to Thunder Bay. Everybody goes to Thunder Bay. There we go. All right, anything floating in the sky? No, nobody floating in the sky? Yeah, I like these planes. They're fast. Very, very fast. But of course, I need three more bucks for that. If a parachuter would like to come by, that'd be great. Just saying. I'm guessing they're going to limit the number of those. All right. So let's go back. All right. Go here. And back. Is there any of them landed? No. This one is going to be landing next. Right. We only had one passenger for that. But it is going to Detroit. Oh, we have new jobs. Good timing there. Very good timing. And we have a parachuter. Can I have some bucks, please? Now I got some coins. Coins are good. Because I do need to open other airports, too. And also, I'm going to need uh, money to buy slots if I do get another airplane. Because if I do get three more, I'm probably going to buy another airplane so we can get more money flowing. Which means I'm going to need to buy a slot. And you're down. All right, I need two passengers, please. And you're not going in the same direction. All right, I'm going to go to Quebec City because I'm sending enough planes to Thunder Bay. Here's the thing. I might have to do a stopover. For this one because this is a long trip so let's just take a quick trip here all right um yeah what well, oh goose bay oh there's one right up there okay can i actually make this one i can make it all right it is a long trip but i can make it i just noticed that there was another spot open that i missed okay how expensive that's pretty cheap Okay, congratulations, you have unlocked Goose Bay. What'd I get? Navigator P engine. Oh, was it was it a P that I had? Hold it a second, hold it a second. Oh, you are now level three. You have been given three complimentary bucks. Ooh. And can now build two airports. Oh, I had the Navigator M. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I had two pieces of an airplane there. Very unfortunate. However, I can buy another airplane now. All right, we have Goose Bay. So let's see. Okay, you're landed. And you have uh, cargo. Where are your cargo going? Goose Bay is a lot of money. But that is a long trip, though. Quebec City is going to get me a buck. 
All right, I'm going to go for the buck. All right, Quebec City. Let's just go take him to Quebec City. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I just thought that this was something cool, and we should take a look at it. And like I said, a viewer did some... Oh, there we go. All right, so this is in Thunder Bay, and it's looking for cargo. Please have a cargo going to the same spot. Okay, we got two from Montreal. That's pretty good. We're going to do that, because that's going to be good money. All right, hopefully we can reach Montreal. Yes, we can. I guess maybe I selected the wrong one by mistake. And of course, if you look at this, you can actually see the status of your airplanes. And the view tells you the ETA in terms... Oh, we got new items in the market. All right, very quickly, we'll just see whether or not those parts showed up. Oh, I got two parts here. That's a Wallaby P. I mean, that would cost me 18 but I have a part for it already. So I'm, I mean, I'm get, only parts I'm seeing here are controls, body, here, filter by this. Um, where is it here? Is it down here? Yeah, the only parts I'm seeing are body, engine, and controls. So I have the controls. Yeah, I have the controls. So I might be able to build myself that plane. Instead of spending 18 for it, it will cost me 6 So you know what? We're going to try that right now. Before we can do this, we're going to try this right now. All right. Buy that one. Okay, where's the other one? And then buy this one. All right. Now let's see how we do this. Over to here. Parts. Build. I can build that one. Oh, it's going to cost me 3 more to build it. All right. It ended up costing me 9 for something that costs 18 So I'm just going to call that a deal. All right. Uh, you have reached the maximum number of planes. You can add an additional plane. Yeah, I knew I was going to have to do that anyway. And yes. So I still have 11 bucks left and I have a new plane. Where am I going to put it? Um, how about... No, I don't want to do that. I guess Detroit. We'll start in Detroit. All right, it's got two passenger slots, so Goose Bay. Ooh, that's a long trip. But you know, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. We'll just do a stopover, because I don't think I can make it all the way. All right, let's just see. Yeah, you notice how it's grayed out? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Quebec City, and then we're going to go from there. And that's going to be a 499 profit. All right, that was definitely nine bucks well spent. Anyway, finally, I think that's going to be it. So this is kind of a fun game. And if it's something you're interested in, I got this on Google Play. Of course, it was free. It looks kind of fun. It's going to take a while till you can build up and buy those big airports and get the big, uh, big planes because I saw a screenshot and there was like 12 people in an airplane. So the airplanes do get very big after a while, which you're going to need for those intercontinental trips. But I'm guessing those trips are also going to take a long time eventually. See, these are short hops. They take like one to five minutes, maybe 10 if we're going out to Thunder Bay. But yeah, eventually they're going to take a long time. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. If you uh, like the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.